first example we have to solve this equation it's a simple one this one on the right hand side could be written as 3 raised to 0 now equating these powers we will get this now I will split the middle term of the quadratic this implies x equal to 2 or x equal to 3 are uh, two possible solutions ok we will see another example now let's see another equation in this equation we can write the left hand side as using property of exponents now if I put 5 raised to x equal to t and make the substitution this term can be written as t square 5 inverse can be written as 1 by 5 now I will multiply with 5 on both the sides this is quadratic in t so let's split the middle term term is 0 or the second term is 0 put back the value of t now 5 raised to x cannot be a negative number so we reject the solution we get 5 raised to x as 25 which means x is 2 this is the only solution ok we will see another example now let's see another equation in this case if we divide by 4 raised to x on both the sides this is what we get which can be written as Now the first term could be written as 3 by 2 square. Now I will put 3 by 2 raised to x as t. So this is what we get. This is a quadratic equation in t. Here we can split the middle term to get this. Okay. values of t so either t is minus 2 or t is 1 now put the value of t t was 3 by 2 raised to x now this cannot be a negative number we reject this and from here you get x as 0 as the only solution ok let's see another example let's see another example this equation could be rewritten like this using property now if you take 6 raised to x common on the left hand side and 2 raised to x common on the right hand side this is obtained we can cancel the common factor we get 6 raised to x equal to 2 raised to x now this is true if x is 0 if x is 0 we will get 6 raised to 0 which is 1 equal to 2 raised to 0 which is also 1 so x equal to 0 is the possible solution ok thank you